So you want to see what's inside my helmet? <music> Greetings Star Wars stackers, how you doing? Stacking Stormtrooper here. In a recent uh, live stream, some of you asked me if you could see the inside of the helmet. Some of you asked me if it gets hot, what's it look like, what's it feel like. So today I'm going to show you what the inside of the helmet looks like. So hopefully that answers a lot of your questions. Let's check it out. So first things first, let's take a look at the exterior of the helmet. Uh, the helmet actually arrives in two separate pieces and it's basically a big plastic shell. Um, across the brow line you can't see it but there's the uh, cutout. You can kind of see the uh, seam right here and then it kind of just kinda comes down like so. Um, this whole part is uh, one piece and then the face is a second piece. Um, everything is held together on the outside by some screws as you can see up here and on the bottom of the earpiece um, and on the interior there's uh, some nuts that hold it all together and it's the same on the opposite side uh, let me just turn that around so you can see okay so you got the two screws up top and the screw on the bottom the screws are then painted white as are uh, the ear bumps on the side. These are hand painted on both sides. The traps on the back, as you can see here, there's one on the, each side of the helmet, as well as the uh, trapezoids on the uh, brow are decals. Okay, some people actually hand paint those. I decided to use the decals. Same down here with these tube stripes. These tube stripes are decals. Some people opt to hand paint them. They were hand painted in the movies, but they actually make decals that are supposed to look hand painted that are accepted by the 501st Legion, which is that uh, costuming uh, charity organization that you hear me referencing in some of my videos. Also, this is a decal here. These, they're called the tears. So those are decals. Again, some people choose to hand paint. I, I chose not to. So the, the hand painting that I did do are the ear bumps on both sides and the frown. As you can see, the frown is painted a gray color. And um, inside you can kind of see a mesh material that's actually made from the, um, the screen material that you would see in a window. I just cut some of that out and I put it on the inside. Uh, on the bottom right here, this is called the vocoder. This is hand painted black and you can see that it kind of wraps all the way down to the bottom of the neck. And then over here, these things here are called Hovey mic tips. Sometimes these are actual speakers. Mine are just props. They're not actual speakers. I chose not to because I amplify sound through my chest using an amplifier. Um, I'll show that at a future time. But uh, so mine are just for show. Um, also, you can see the rubber brow that is uh, placed along the brow line. The kits that these helmets come with typically will have a very thin green flimsy acetate piece of plastic. What I decided to do was make mine out of welding shield lenses. Um, so these are actually not black, they are green in color, which you'll see when I show the inside of the helmet. So why don't we get to that part right now? Now the helmet is actually my pride and joy in the entire costume. Um, I spent countless hours building this thing. I wanted the inside of this helmet to be extremely comfortable and also to look really cool. And I think I really pulled it off. Um, as you can see, I have some electronics on the inside and the entire helmet is actually lined with um, soft Velcro. Some people in the 501st that have these helmets don't put anything in there, just straight up plastic shell. Um, to me, that's, that's crazy. Uh, good for them that they can do that, but I like some comfort. So as you can see, I actually have padding. Uh, the benefit for having all of this Velcro is that I can move everything as I need to throughout the helmet. So I could just take padding, move it around, do whatever I need to do 
to make things uh, comfortable and to move electronics around as needed. So as you can see here, the lenses are a green color. And um, along the bottom of the lenses, you could kind of see, actually all, all around the edge, this putty-like material, it's called Sugru. It's this very sticky, uh, gooey putty that you mold and when it hardens, it's like a very, very firm rubber. And you can also see I drilled holes around each lens and uh, put screws and acorn nuts into each of the lenses. Also inside, you can see that I have a Bluetooth microphone uh, right here, which transmits to a receiver in my chest and I transmit my sound out of my chest. Also inside the helmet, I've got four fans, two along the bottom, one on the cheek here, and then in the back, I've got one, right? Because it does get actually very warm wearing this helmet. So uh, I used to actually only have the front two and I figured I had some more room inside the helmet. Why not put a couple more fans inside? Um, each of the two pairs of fans are actually uh, hooked up to their own power banks. Once I turn this on, this will provide power to the back fans, okay? And then the front two fans that are by the cheeks, they actually feed into this power bank in the rear. All four fans, they actually turn on with switches, these with button switches that I have on the inside of the chin. It's hard to get a view of the buttons um, without taking the phone off the tripod and putting it in there, but I will put a picture in picture right up there so you guys could see what it looks like. And I also took many hours, believe it or not, to hide the wires all along. There's wiring that goes all around the uh, helmet, all around the inside of the helmet here. Um, and I had to spend a long time making the wires uh, configured in a way that they would not be in the way and that they're tucked in here and Velcroed down. So that way when I take these power banks on and off, um, it, it doesn't disrupt the, the wiring. So it, it, all in, I can't even imagine how many hours it took me. It took a long time to do this thing, but I love it. So it was all worth it. So everybody, that is a tour of the Stacking Stormtroopers helmet. Remember to keep stacking, keep prepping, and long live the Empire. Hey Star Wars stackers, if you liked what you saw, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Press the bell icon so you get notified for any new content. And remember, keep stacking, keep prepping, and long live the Empire.